this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Let's head on back to Altair and, well, report our progress on destroying the Dreadnought. Let's see, with all these guys, uh, any level 4 spell should be more than enough damage to be able to take out even the Vampire Thorns in the back road there. So that's pretty nice. And, yeah, I'm not worried about my MP at all at this point. Now, if you recall, back at Salamand, there was one of the NPCs there who was saying something about, I think it said something about Chocobos south of Cashwan or whatever it was. Well, there's a Chocobos forest there, and we're going to check it out. Fortunately, it's straight south of Cashwan. You can't miss it. Well, I suppose you could miss it if you didn't know where it was, but we do know where it was. Or where it is. Right over here. Now, just like any other Final Fantasy game, if you want to catch a chocobo, well, you gotta... Well, I suppose not every Final Fantasy game, but in order to ch catch a chocobo, you see it's popping in and out of the tall grass here, and we gotta catch it. Ha-ha! There we go. So yeah, just keep on pressing the A button around here as the chocobo kind of hides in the grass and disappears and teleports around or whatever. So you catch the chocobo, then leave the chocobo's forest, get on top, press the A button, boom, you're ready to go. You won't get into any random encounters while you're on the chocobo. Unfortunately, its uses are extremely limited because that's the only place where you can find them and you can't, like, go on the ocean or mountains or anything like that. No, no, it doesn't work that way. You can only stay on land. And I would like to head back to Poft here, see what's going on, why Sid was around. Wait, how did they... Why was she on the airship? Okay, I mean, I suppose I should report that, but what is she doing? What is she thinking? Well, anyway, I do want to take the ship back to Palum there so I can get the ship back in that location anyway. But yeah, since you saw Sid's airship get captured, all the crew members are gone too. I like that attention to detail. I would think that might have been something they would have forgotten about while... Sid got captured there, but, uh, no, no, it seems they did remember it after all. I was about to say hooray, but, uh, no, that's not something to be, uh, happy about there. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's get back up on the ship as soon as I get done with more random battles. Why not? We're not getting a whole lot of experience from these ones, so I'm not going to be spending too much time like, delaying these old battles here. There's really not much of a point other than maybe the chance of getting a point of agility for Firion there. Or intellect or spirit for Maria and Guy, respectively. Hey, hey! All right! Woohoo! More agility! I need as much as I can get there for Firion there. Yeah, very nice there. As far as Gordon is concerned for, like, evasion, I don't really care about building up his evasion percentage just for, like, getting more agility, like with Firion. No, I only care about agility, or not, evasion on him to get him a chance of possibly acting before the enemies do. That's all. So if I can do that, so much the better. Yeah, I, I noticed she was kidnapped. By the way, the villagers at Basque and Salamand, they do not have any new dialogue, so there's no point in talking to them. But all the guys here do. Well, I don't know about that idea, bud. I mean, they seem to pay their soldiers randomly based on what I loot from them. Sometimes they don't pay them money at all. But, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we, we got it. We got it. We, we know the princess is kidnapped for some reason. I'm not really sure what the relevance of that is, but, well, maybe someone at the Rebel Base can tell us what's going on. 
I'm surprised I'm getting into random battles this quickly. I mean, this game does have a really high encounter rate. Not as high as, you know, Breath of Fire 2, but it's up there. Woo, strength. That'll help with uh, my accuracy with the Ancient Sword there. But I don't want to have two shields equipped. No, no, we're not talking crazy here, viewers. But, uh, mm, yeah, that accuracy could still use quite a bit of work there. We'll see what we can do. But all right, let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, as far as the potential of getting a strength point at the end of a battle, the chance is equal to the number of times you attacked out of 45 throughout the entire battle. So if I attacked like three times, I would have a one in 15 chance of gaining some, or a point of strength there, so. Yeah, it does take quite a bit to get some of that, but I'm not extraordinarily concerned about building up strength. If I can get it while while I'm doing other things, so much the better. But uh, yeah, yeah, we got your sun fire there. We're we're all good to go. So now we just gotta find a way to catch up with it. We don't have Sid's airship. So how are we gonna get up there? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So we actually have a way of. Well, tracking them, I suppose, and the enemies there are a lot harder than what we've met up with so far. Well, maybe not a lot, but significant, noticeable. So, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got that stuff for there. But, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna rescue the princess again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, why did she board the airship? There's no logical reason for her to do that. But, uh, okay, why did she want to meet us there? I mean, couldn't she have just paid Sid or had an errand boy go do that for her or something? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I noticed. I was kind of there. Not a whole lot I could have done about it. But, alright. But, uh, yeah. How do you guys know about all this anyway? I, I mean, th that was like halfway across the world, practically. But, okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, just reinforcing the knowledge. We know. It's there. Uh, dude? Wait, what? How is this remotely my fault? It was way up there. I didn't tell her to board Sid's airship. What do you want me to do? Shove a lightning bolt up your ass? That guy has nothing useful to contribute to us, I guess. Huh. But, uh, okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. But, uh, well, maybe someone else has something more useful. That's it? Why? Why would she do that? Just to thank me? Well, I mean, I'm going to go there anyway, so we might as well. It gives us a little more motivation, I suppose. But uh, anyway, let's see. With the Dreadnought keyword... Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's got Sunfire, though. But, okay, we've got some more. But, all right, so, yeah, just like everyone saying, hey, we gotta go northwest of Finn in order to find the Dreadnought, and, well, spoiler alert, it's gonna be there. So, let's head on up there. But, we do have quite a bit of preparations that I want to make. So let's see what we got going on here as far as my inventory goes because this is going to be a long trek for us here. Let's see. Okay, they got the antidotes and the eye drops there. Let's see. I don't think I need a mithril shield anymore. Yeah, I've got one equipped on on what is on Gordon there. I suppose I could equip two canes or stabs on Gordon there to boost his staff 
uh, weapon levels, but uh, I think he's better off with the shield on the offhand there. But at least a lot of this stuff sells for pretty good money. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the mallet. It's just uh, way too good, or way too much money to ignore. Let's see, okay, so as far as antidotes go, I wanna have like four ant, or well, three antidotes and three eye drops would be sufficient, I think. So, yeah, we're not going to use the garlics. We might as well get rid of those now. And, okay, yeah, way too many antidotes. I don't want to clog up my inventory because there's going to be a lot of treasure for us to find coming up here. Let's see, okay, Maria. Okay, you've got another set of eye drops, so we're good there. Let's see, okay, we got an extra antidote. I don't think we have any more of those, though. Okay, okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see, let's just sell most of the antidotes that I've got here anyway. Okay, that ought to be good for now. Let's see, I'm gonna need 15 grand to buy, I wanna buy a cottage and four ethers. That should be enough for what I wanna do. But I don't have quite enough money and I've got some farming that I wanna do as well coming up here. This is going to be one of the very, very few times that I want to farm an item drop from the enemies coming up here. So now that we're not sequence breaking, I feel reasonably safe in doing that now. But yeah, this is the point in the game where money starts becoming a non-issue because the enemies start dropping stuff that sells for, well, a lot of money. Oh, two points of agility. Holy cow. Let me see, how much has Maria gotten so far on agility? How has she gotten that much agility? I, I mean, she has nothing equipped. Well, I mean, very little equipped, but still. But okay. Oh, yeah, with Gordon I should... Yeah, re-equip there. Ah, that's much better. Okay, so anyway, my base of operations coming up here will be Gatria up here. I think there, a villager says something new there too at this point. Seems kind of odd, but it is available. We might as well take a look while we're here. So this is the closest in to where I will be doing my farming. So yeah, might as well get Maria's MP back there. There, There's no need to buy tomes or anything like that, unlike what I showed earlier, because we're more than powerful enough now. But uh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Whoop, an empty text box there. Yeah, they, uh, well, that's probably something with the patch there that they put, but, uh, well, I'm sure they'll fix it eventually. Not a big deal, really, but, well, the guy wanted me to point out if I ever see anything like that. But, okay, so, the place where I want to go is straight north from here. Okay, so, at this point, let's see. Which one? Yeah, let's use that save file here. And I want to go around here looking for the enemies that I want. Let's see, right about around here is where I want to do my farming. Here's an enemy that I would like to farm as well. Let's see, let's go with the ancient sword since there's only one guy here. But this guy can drop a lot of tomes that sell for good money. So let's see, hmm... I'm thinking if I want to use life or if I want to take the opportunity to attack here, I think I do want to attack so that I can get some decent weapon experience because I think these guys have, are a rank 3 enemy, if I recall correctly. They have 80 HP there. And alright, got him. Easy enough there. So let's see, magicians have a chance of dropping some really good tomes, namely the one that I was really looking for, the Scourge Tome. That is the fourth and final 
uh, of the basic elemental spells that unfortunately you cannot buy. So this is the one that I want to get for Maria there. And I want to start working on that as soon as possible there. And let's see, as far as everything else goes, well, you know what, let's, uh, where are we? Yeah, let's, uh, save here, and let's see what else we can find around here. I want to see if I can find more magicians, because they sell tomes that sell for really good money, or possibly an ogre mage, both of which should be much easier for me to defeat now. So basically, I want to stay right on this row here. I don't want to go one tile south, because that's where the easier enemies are, like from the beginning of the game. I don't want to go any further east from here either, because there's some easier enemies there as well. So just keep on walking back and forth around here, and if I get into trouble, I can, you know, go south to get back. But let's see, okay, we got land turtles here, and if you recall, we found them back at... Uh, what was that? The uh, Summit Falls area there with the uh, teleport tome chest. And because of that, they are an encounter that is impossible to run from. So let's just do a soft reset there. And get back in action. I wouldn't even bother fighting any battles that have either... That do not have a mage or, or a magician or an ogre mage in the battle. Okay, well, here's another battle with those mages there. Now, one thing you could do is you could uh, not do the farming here. You could just, you're going to be fighting a lot of them on the way. Hmm, let's uh, work on Thunder here first. So, you could try to win that Scourge Tome from them, like, while we're progressing the story and stuff, but, well, I got lucky not only to win it right away, but also, uh-oh, yeah, there's a Scourge spell. Not nearly as powerful as ours. Or, well, our, okay, maybe it is stronger. Now, the reason it dealt so little damage there was because Firion had the gold shield equipped, which is resistant to poison elemental spells like Scourge there. So it cuts all that damage in half there, but it is a good opportunity to get in, or get some HP gains while we're at it too. Okay, so now I'm going to use Scourge since we're wrapping things up here. Hmm, let's see, I already used Life, and I'm not going to get much experience, so maybe go with Asuna? No, I think I want to go with Shell there instead. And hopefully, I will be able to get what I want. Or get something useful from the magicians there. Ooh, agility! Nice! And, okay, another Scourge Tome. I think that sells for a thousand gil, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, we still got some work to do. I need 15 grand. Probably a lot more there than that. But, uh, well, at least we gained some... HP there. So yeah, enemies like Magicians and Ogre Mages are really good for gaining HP because they will have a tendency to cast multi-targeting spells on your entire party there. And that's just really easy to get just a little bit of HP lost without putting you in like extreme danger there. But uh, okay, let's see if we can win something else from those guys too. There are some other new enemies that we can encounter here. Now this battle, I think we can run from, even though they do have the land turtles there, it's based on the formation of the battle, not the enemies themselves, as far as battles being impossible to run from. Even if you had 99% evasion, it would be impossible still. Okay, yeah, we got some new enemies there, but uh, I'm going to show those guys later. For now, I just 
I would like to show you what you could potentially get from magicians or an ogre mage. And then we'll be good to go. So if I don't find it soon, then I'll edit out until I get to that point. Okay, well, we do have some more magicians there. So yeah, let's take advantage of it. Hmm, I don't think Furion would be able to kill a magician on his own. Unless he got lucky and, you know, got all of his hits to land there. But, uh, okay, let's see. With Shell, yeah, let's give that to Maria there to help her out a little bit. I think Gordon should be able to kill a soldier on his own there. Hopefully. We'll see. Let's see. As far as spells go, let's see. Yeah, they got... Well, magicians have all the basic elemental spells, as well as blind, sleep, and berserk. As far as what they can use on your party there, and sleep or blind would be quite devastating at this point. So, we'll see what we can do. Let's see. Okay, so then, yeah, we'll just go with Thunder there. And, okay, so we got Shell. Let's get a little work going on life there as well while we're at it. Yeah, Berserk increases your attack power, which is very obscene in the game here for dealing with enemies that have like really high magic resistance or elemental absorptions things like that which is part of why i'm banning it okay what do we got hey all right so we got stun there uh game okay. can i get these tones there there we go let's see i think the stun tone sells for pretty good money the big one, as far as money is concerned, is a Berserk Tome. That sells for 5,000 gil. Maybe it's 4,000. I think it's 5,000, if I recall correctly. But all right. Okay, so let's see. Where is your item shop here? I forget where it is in this town because I hardly ever go here other than, you know, on the way to Finn, usually. But all right, let's see how much we got here. I already have enough eye drops and stuff. So, yeah, big money. Sell all the tomes there. Okay, so now I want to get a cottage that restores your entire party's HP and MP to max. But you can only use it on the overworld. And let's see, since I do have a little extra money, let's buy another ether. I might need that, actually. Like, four ethers and a cottage is the bare minimum that you want to have for your party going onward from here. Because it's a... I mean, well, I was going to say, it's a long walk to get to the airship, and I will be walking there because the enemies are pretty decently ranked, so it's good for the experience. Although, if you wanted to, you could use a chocobo to get there, but I don't think so. I think I want to stick with walking there for the experience. Let's see. Okay, as far as my setup goes... Okay, so we got the Ancient Sword there on Furion. Let's give him an antidote, because it's quite possible he'll get poisoned at some point. Maria, let's see. Let's go... Yeah, let's give her an ether. And, oh, well, yeah, and eye drops as well, because she might get blinded by enemies, although I'd prefer to use them outside of battle, but I might not have that option. Okay, so let's see, Antidote, make sure we've got an ether there for Guy, he will be using a lot of his MP coming up here. And let's see, for Gordon, let's give him another set of those eye drops there. And I think we're all set and ready to go. But can we find a way to infiltrate the Empire's Dreadnought? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!